sorry for squeak again. Um, so today's video, I wanted to spend not too long, maybe five minutes talking about the mind. So the reason I want to do that is to give you uh, a really easy to understand snapshot of our mind and how it works so that when, sorry about the cars, so that when you hear me talking about certain things, you actually have an understanding of what that means. Uh, it can be tricky sometimes when no one gives you that and they expect you to just catch up and catch on. Um, so the mind. So it's the engine for starters. Um, I had to heal my mind to heal my body, put it that way. So if something's not working for you and you're doing all the physical stuff, I'd say you're needing to look at addressing the mind and the brain. The mind is what our brain does when we talk about mind. Um, the brain is separate. That's like the physiological part of us, our brain. We know we've got two hemispheres. We've got the right hemisphere, which is our creative, um, emotional side. And we've got the left hemisphere, which is the more logical, probably masculine side of our brain. So when I talk about mind, I want to talk to you for a minute about the two um, types of mind that we have that science tells us every day now. Um, is so important to our overall success and happiness in the world. And that is having a subconscious mind, okay? And then we have the conscious mind. So our subconscious mind is like our dreaming mind. So our subconscious mind, when you have dreams, that's coming from that crazy guy. We all know how weird dreams that we've had and think, hmm. So that's coming from the subconscious part of your mind, which is the part of our mind that it controls you know so much it controls our belief systems it's where all our beliefs are held and stored a lot of emotion a lot of past events um, something about else about our subconscious mind is that it it runs 95% of our life in a sense so the outcomes you see in your actual world 95% of that is driven from your subconscious mind not your conscious mind that's the mind that's getting up and going to work every day um, the guy's mowing now <laughs> he's done god love him so look subconscious mind also it actually controls a lot of bodily functions so you don't have to think about your heart beating and you don't have to think about digesting food and you don't have to think about your blood pressure or your heart rate um, you don't have to think about your beautiful nervous system that's controlling so much of your sensory perception of the world and your emotion and what feels good and what feels bad that's all run by your subconscious mind. So you can see how incredibly powerful it is. Um, so I just wanted to clarify that so that we know that that's probably the part um, using 95% of our brain that we need to address in order to see different outcomes in our tangible world. Um, on the other spectrum of that, we've got the conscious mind and that's our <laughs> crazy, Roommate, one of the many authors that I've read and follow calls it the crazy roommate or your annoying roommate, I think it is. So that's the voice you hear all the time in your head. That's your conscious mind, the one that's questioning what you're doing with your life, with work, with any decision you make, what you just said, what you just ate. Um, it, it kind of is an annoying roommate, but it's a beautiful part of us and it's a really essential part of us. But it only makes up 5% of what results you're actually seeing in your life, right? So your conscious mind is the mind you use to think about something. If we're trying to do a project, we're trying to achieve something, we're trying to write our list to-do list for the day, um, you know, it's, it's the mind that drives us forward, okay? Because it's logical and it's um, quick acting and it's, it's incredible. Like our mind, our brain, our mind is just incredible machine which is why I love it so much and I want to teach and talk about it so much because I understand the power of this incredible machine so basically our conscious mind yeah is the part of us that keeps us moving and doing action steps and making decisions and kind of you know these kind of things but by the same token it's a very critical part of our mind um, always telling us we're doing the wrong thing or why did you say that or should have done it this way or and if you pay attention closely enough, it'll change its mind depending on what you do. There's no real logic to what it's telling you. Um, it's trying to do its best for you, and I have said this before, but we've given it an impossible job because that subconscious mind has got so many conflicting beliefs and ideas 
that the conscious mind can't, it can't manage that and make us happy at the same time. So that's what we talk about when we talk about the conscious and the subconscious minds. Uh, and in a lot of the material on my website and my videos, I will talk about that in a bit more length. Um, but for now, I just wanted you to get that basic understanding of the two parts of our mind and what they mean. Um, and then when we're chatting or when you come and have a session with me, we don't need to start at the very beginning because you've already seen this video and have a, have a relative understanding of how that works. So that was me for today. And I hope you could hear me through some of the noise. That's what it's like being in nature anyway. It's all good. So yeah, thanks for listening. Bye guys.